Leander leaders want to close a low water crossing on a county road that they say is dangerous and they have some major safety concerns. Neighbors who live in the area, though, they're pushing back. They're saying this crossing provides a vital exit out of their neighborhood. KXAN's Dylan McKim has traveled to the crossing. It's on County Road 177. Mm -hmm. Dylan, we know this crossing well for the wrong reason. We do know the crossing very well. It was in the spotlight back in 2018 when this school bus decided to drive through it, when it uh, during a storm. It was swept off the road. The city points to this incident as some evidence to keep that bridge closed. But neighbors want to hold off on that before there is a fix to traffic in the area. The low water crossing on County Road 177 is narrow and run down. Because only one car can cross at a time, it's been a hot spot for wrecks. The city said there have been 24 crashes here, including a scary moment in 2018. This dashboard video showing the moment a school bus got swept off the road by rushing water. The city installed these metal gates to temporarily close the crossing during storms, but that didn't stop everyone. What we found is, is folks get impatient and they've started cutting the locks on those gates and opening kind of prematurely. The city is recommending to permanently close this crossing, placing cement blocks at the bridge. Neighbors in the area agree it's unsafe, but want to pump the brakes on a permanent closure. If the crossing is closed, that means the only way out of the neighborhood is through Ronald Reagan Boulevard, an intersection with no traffic light. And that is just a nightmare. And I doubt if any of you have been on those roads at 7.30 in the morning trying to get out of 177. A church is also located on that road. The pastor told city council he worries for his congregation's safety because of how much traffic there is. On many Sundays of the year right now, we are often backed up all the way past our own exits now. Neighbors who spoke out want to see an alternate route built out of the neighborhood before the road is officially closed. Now, there are also two new housing developments coming to the area. That's added traffic, another concern for the city. Council did not take any action on the closure this week. They will most likely revisit this issue next month during a city council meeting.